We now return to Let's Play Caves of Cud. Time to go down one more flight of stairs. I believe if we keep going deep enough in some places, we'll eventually get into the caverns beneath the surface. What's that water? Brackish water. This is a very open basement down here. Aha, uh -huh. okay. This is an instance when I definitely want to use my weaponry. RMI. Okay, I think I need to use time dilation. <laughs> Get a little bit of an advantage here. Because I am just missing this bastard. Okay, good. Let's rest until healed. And I'll pick up your steel weaponry. I'm going to be disappointed if that's all there was. There's just some cranky old hermit. I don't know why I just walked right by him. Well, it. It is a plant. There is a skunk. Apparently the skunk was fighting someone, though, because it let loose. I'm gonna... Oh, okay, I'm not eating 11 boar meat, I'm just eating... It's showing me what's left. So, I, I, 11, 10 boar meat? No, no. Um, pointless, and there was no one here. So he actually just did that for me. Oh god, more, more of you. Um, I'm gonna have you come out into the open so I can get a good shot on you. Failed to penetrate. Let's do it one more time. And I got one hole damage. I hate these guys. I really hate these guys. There we go. Steel Vine Reaper, I'll take it. Probably should reload. That centipede is running away because of the dreadroot, not because of me. That's too bad. Okay. Ooh, what is this? A new sun veil and a nylon body pack. Now that, that is... Oh, I didn't pick it up yet. Um, I just opened the door. No, I want to hit that. There we go. Get... And this has 10% carrying capacity. Okay. But, oh boy. Let's go through that door. I'll let it cut to me. I'm not really hard up for weight capacity at the moment. But that is a, is that on a back or is that on a body? that weren't on the back. Yes, it's worn on the back. Well, I'll keep the dodge for now, but if I end up gathering a lot of stuff, like what's in this chest? Is this a chest or is this... Yes, it is. Metal folding chair. Great, we'll just disassemble that right now because that is going to weigh too much. Or it only weighs a pound, so never mind. But I get a lot of crap for it. So that's good. Uh, another brackish water. Just poisons the water purely. Why did I wander through that? That was dumb. Rest until healed. Pointless door. Okay, so this is a very low basement of this facility because we can see that it's built into the rock. Oh shit! Fire snout. That is, uh, that is not good. Time dilate, and let's find that fucking fire snout because that is priority number one. I 
and then this guy. Um, I'm actually going to use Force Wall while I still have the chance. And I need to be careful here because I think I'm actually starting to run low on my ammo. Yes, I am. So, I really don't want to use up all my ammo, um, but I'm out of everything else. I could use my bow, or I could just wait. Let's just wait it out. I think I can take him quite easily. I'm fully healed now. Okay, maybe that's going just a little bit. Uh-oh, he just healed too. He regenerated himself. Okay, time to heal. Yeah, damn. So I either need to start focusing, I think, on higher dodge value or higher armor value because those guys mess me up. Good, got a bunch more stuff. Oh, not you again, time dilate. God, these bastards. Okay, a steel warhammer and spiked gauntlets. Those should be worth something. Starting to get heavy again. Um, there are no stairs. This is the bottom floor. Okay, well in that case, I guess... I... You know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking... Maybe I'll head back to Joppa. Um, see, I just wandered right into... Oh. You already hurt me, so I'm gonna... fuck you up for doing that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to go back to Joppa or just continue on, because... I mean, we've... We've gotten pretty far already, and it's gonna be a very long distance to go... So that's just more food and crap that I'm... See, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. So I left all that shit on the wall, like jilted lovers. And the pathfinding is not so great. But, if we go to... Or continue on our way... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm full of stuff, and, and these guys are down in a cave. So... Yeah, I'd better. I'm almost over-encumbered. I do have a little bit of food. Okay, I've got more food than I thought, actually. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I will use this thing rather than walk. Where is it? There it is. Activate. You are transported. Now it's very low, so I can only do that one more time. Probably need to be careful with that. Okay, so what am I actually after? Nothing yet. I haven't made it to the Great Gate. But at least I saved some food. So, just to see, what do you actually have right now? You've got nothing. You have not changed anything since I was last here. That's not good, because I need, above all, some ammo. Um, otherwise, this is going to be really difficult. I might end up having to make more slugs for myself, which I'm not thrilled about, because that's just a waste of goodies. What do you have again? So I could trade for a bunch of that scrap. I could get a new Joppa recoiler. Well, that's just a plan for it, though. That's not an actual recoiler. I might need to borrow some of your scrap, like these microchips, so that I can have the goods that will allow me to make more of those slugs. Um, scrap electronics, yeah. So I, I definitely want to buy that, if anything, so that I could disassemble it into that. Uh, Borderlands Revolver is no longer a priority, since I have the two. Droid Scrambler don't need the Electro. Ooh, shotgun shells, though. I might want some shotgun shells. So I guess that's what I will be doing. Just so I'm not wasting any more time, I guess I'll do that off-camera. So I'm just going to go back to my hut, grab some things that I can trade, and try and make ammo. Okay, so I did grab a few things, 
replace them as needed. Um, forgot that I'm going to go grab some other things. Uh, so I had that electric sword in here that I forgot about. I pulled the cell out of that and I... Oh, damn. That's just too much. Okay. And I... Um, nope, nope. How do I do this? Well, I was going to use that for trade. And I put it into the bow, uh, and then I just put in a bunch of junk, got some electronics, and now I've got one reload apiece for each of my pistols, and then I've got about ten shotgun shells. But I wanted to save the rest of my goods for coming over here and trying to buy. That muddy tube is probably an injector, but I might want to try and get myself something there. Now that's nylon body pack. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, before I do this, let me equip that. Now I can do 313. I can maybe pull in a few Gershling bodies. Um, so how do I, how do I only take the one that I want? Two to scroll down? Oh. That's not what I wanted to do at all, in fact. I really only want to get the one, though. I don't want to get all three of them. I just want the one. But it's going to give me all of them. So I'm going to have to drop one, I guess. Uh, M. We'll drop one. I'm going to have to drop another one. I don't actually think these are really worth that much, actually. So maybe this is kind of silly. But we'll find out. Yeah, it's only worth 490. Uh but the the nylon thing that I'm wearing right now is worth 49. So if I really really wanted to have something to trade that would be it. I could probably also consider some of those grenades as well. A bloody bandage? Eh, it's still a bandage. So, I'll probably trade back some of this stuff. That electrified iron sword is no longer worth anything now that I've taken the power cell out of it. And I cannot, unfortunately, for whatever reason, disassemble it. This musket, I don't think I need because I've got the pistols. So... Ah, and then we've got the box of crayons, the copper nuggets, and the silver nuggets, leading me to have 369. That would allow me to have quite a bit of stuff, actually. Anything else good that you've got that I want, maybe? Not really. It's silly to trade for a silver nugget because I can just take that off what I've got right now. I will take those, however, and we'll just keep the valuable stuff. We'll just lower that down. The musket, possibly. Um, I probably want to get rid of a lot of that stuff, although we can probably take the carbides back. That's good, so now I only need to get rid of four bucks worth of something. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like that. Well, I've got the Gershling. Um, what could I trade? Because otherwise I'm going to have to give one of my drams of water. A bloody bandage? <laughs> uh, I'd still have to, it'd still make me trade it, which is nonsense, but it would do that. So yeah, these vine reapers are actually worth quite a bit. I would like to get rid of these Gershling things if I can. That's not going to be enough. Of course it's not going to be enough. It doesn't add up. Um, so I'll put that vine reaper back. I mean, I guess I could just take the water. Let's put that musket back in there, and then take... I can take eight now. Which would be that Gersling corpse. So I can take 13, which would allow me to pull back on that. Yeah, okay, good. Let's do it that way. 
Trade complete. Fantastic. Okay. So, what did I get for all of that? Weird artifacts and a muddy tube. Let's examine it. A blaze injector. Uh, you abide the memory of the blaze injector's creation and learn to build it, but that's... Let's look at it and see what it does. Okay, so I'm immune to heat. Can't be frozen. Quickness. Temperature cannot be increased. Yeah, good stuff. Weird artifact. Examine. It's a compass bracelet. That might actually be useful. In fact, let's apply that to my right arm, which has nothing on it. So now, I'm going to have a harder time getting lost, which is great. Examine this. It's a flashbang grenade. I thought I already knew how to make one of those. Okay. Not necessarily worth the trade. Maybe I could get rid of the Mark 1s in place of Mark 2s. Or I could disassemble them and get some goodies, maybe, because they've got the colors that I think I need. Um, blaze injector, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of trade goods. I still don't think Argive has anything that I really want. I mean, the data disks. It's got a force bracelet, though. I don't think I could come up with 510 drams worth of stuff. Or for that. I could take more stuff, you know, more of his scrap. I think maybe I'll just hang on to it, though. Okay. Well, actually, I will put all this stuff back in my chests off-screen, and then we'll head back to our destination. Alright, so I went ahead and organized my chests just a little bit better, so I know where my trading stuff is, where my water is, that sort of thing. Makes it a little bit easier, but now it's time to go back across the map to our actual destination. And I'm eating all of my meat along the way. So, oh no. Oh no. Oh noes. Nothing to take. So now, since I don't know where any of this shit is, um, what is this? Salty water. I don't know where I'm at. So now I'm going to have to wander around until this, uh, this starts to work. Now, I thought, well, it was reduced by 10% to get lost, but you know what? <laughs> that didn't work. I do have some points, but I can't get much for wayfaring right now, can I? I think the lowest one is 50. Yeah. So, this is a dreaded waste of time, because, oh no, pigs. Well, that might not be so bad, because we can get some meat. And there's an Equimax. Now, how do the horses feel about me? They're neutral to me. Nonetheless, I don't want to fight one. So I don't know how far I'm going to have to go before I actually regain my bearings. Yay! Good. Let's get out of here. Pass by wild flower fields. I don't know if that means that... that uh, there would be fresh water there or not, but either way, we are now at the Grit Gate. Yay, travel to Grit Gate. There is immediately something I do not want to see. A slug snout. These things will kill you. Very much. So, uh... Anytime? Badly wounded. Can I sneak up there? Okay, good. Killed. Wasted some ammo. And over there is... A way droid, a man-sized cylinder, hovers just above the floor. It is friendly to me because of the thing that Argive gave me. So now I get to wander around their facility. Which is full of trees. Trees are blocking the way that I cannot pass through them. That's an interesting obstacle. A lot of narrow corridors here. And centipedes all over the frickin' place.
And I now am wounded. I will wait. There we go. And we'll... Ah, oh, there's the stairs down. Okay. Completely... What was that? I guess it was a way droid taking care of the centipede. Good. Well, centipedes are better than mirth... Uh-oh. <laughs> mirth worms, I guess. Spark tick. Not too bad. Okay. Well, I, I just want to wander through here because we might actually find something decent. Or might just find a bunch of dead ends. Probably not going to make it downstairs by the rest of this episode. Oh, really? That should have been a treasure room. Might be some things to find out here yet. Oh, man. Like an albino ape. I think I can take him. Oh, maybe maybe not with a centipede friend. Come on, ape man, your move. I guess he couldn't see me. Okay, and now I need to heal. It's a good thing I regenerate so fast. And that way droid, unfortunately, took a little too... Oh, bear! There's a bear. Yeah, uh, that was kind of a mistake on my part, because... Oh, no. Not mirthworms. Where's my droid friend? Where's my droid friend? I mean, I could easily take these guys, yes, but... I just didn't want to. Okay. So, moving on... Is there really nothing here? There better be some good stuff down below once we actually get into the facility. Uh, I'm blocked. Centipede's coming my way. I'll let him get a little bit closer there. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. No. Uh, where are you? I'll just close the door. He's still gonna be out there. Ooh, here we go! Uh, somebody just... Maybe not. Maybe that was my imagination. Treasure room. Yes. Yes, we found the junk room. Full of every good thing. So what did that give me? Finally, I have one. I've got a pure alloy. I now have more scrap electronics, too. That'll be very good if I need to resupply my ammo. And there's a treasure chest. Oh, maybe that shot came from the, the way droid there. Maybe he, uh... Maybe I got lucky. Oh, I did not get lucky. He's actually right there. But he's very bloodied. Well, he's bloodied, but he's actually fine according to his stat. I'm going to go ahead and time dilate. That's also going to affect my droid friends, but... Better that than uh, dying, right? Spiked gauntlets, steel, hammer. Let's go back up to that treasure chest that he had. And he's got vine wafers and a steel battle axe. Well, okay. So he didn't really have anything out here. That's disappointing. The whole facility is actually kind of boring on the surface. Well, you know, except for the amazing junk room that I just found. So we'll be going over to here. I can get around all these trees. And saving. And next time, we'll enter down. I don't know how many floors I have to go down before I find these people, but I seem to recall it is quite a few, and we're getting very close to the furthest I have made it in the game, so beyond this is going to be a total mystery for me, as well as you, unless, of course, you've played this before. So, I'll end this one here, and I'll see you next time.